Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya. Sim or Sim Naya, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So I want to ask this question. Why is it that Karens, like anywhere they go this time around, they try as much as they can to leave a footprint? Because this is becoming so much, you know? You can't go to someone else's country and you want to make them uncomfortable because you visited. I want you all to know that, uh, I mean, the world does not evolve around you all. I mean, you are not Mexican or wherever you visit. If you visit, uh, I mean, Africa or Nigeria or Ghana, Mexico, anywhere in the world, you should respect people's culture and not try to make them uncomfortable just to uh, be comfortable, you know? When you are in people's spaces, be nice to them. Stop being rude. Stop acting that it is all your world. You all got everything all in your palms and all of that. That is not how it, how it goes. And I am saying a very big shout out to that young girl because that young girl really was standing on business and that is some period you know i love kids that know that, that 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 know when people are crossing their boundaries the little child knew that karen was already crossing her boundaries and she kept her down so please you all can do better and stop going to people's places just to provoke them you can if you don't want to go to a certain place stay back in your home go to other places or just don't travel at all well, you guys can do better. Let's get into this video. Please leave our private event. There is extra space over here. Unos gringos corriéndonos de nuestro propio lugar. Olivia. Secretary. Imagínense. Sí, está diciendo quién. Lo agresivo. Lo agresivo que se están portando. Está todo, todo filmado. No, adiós. Todo filmado. Estamos en nuestro país. Estamos en nuestra área pública. Full video is on this page. This is very personal for me because it happened really close to where I live. I am in the same location as that video right now. And as you can tell, this is a very public area. This is called El Mirador here in Durango, Mexico. And it is open to the public. I have no problem with Americans coming to Mexico for tourism. But what I do have a problem with is with their entitlement. Mexico is for Mexicans and you're a guest here. And the people who allowed for this to happen hold a certain level of blame, but Mexicans need to stop putting these Americans on a pedestal. A lot of these gringos that are coming here to Durango have to save up their whole year just to come here for one week. They're broke. We need to stop putting them on this pedestal. And I don't know why these gringos have such a high level of entitlement, bro. Nobody cares that you're American. Nobody cares. I wish you was here right now, bro, because I don't play with that. But anyways, like you guys tell us, if you don't like it, go back to your country. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. And shout out to that little girl for standing on business. Please leave our private event. There is X. Now, if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. This is yet another scenario where I have spent some time on TikTok for hours and I have seen um numerous videos about the about mexicans the natives that actually live there their disdain for americans and the not all americans but karens that come to mexico and they treat it as if it's america so basically what was happening in that video again if you didn't see it go back and rewatch it however um just to you know wrap it up for y'all the the woman was mad because she was in a, a public place and they were hosting a private event, but in a public place. Now, even in America, you host a private event in a public place, that does that's not grounds for people to like leave. Like if you're hosting a party at the park, people can still go to that park and attend whatever they wanna do in that park. You can't block people from going to a public um, place that everyone pays for in our tax dollars. So in Durango, this woman, she did that. And as they were, as some of the kids were trying to come to said public place, she was showing her Karen behavior. Um, this isn't the first time we've seen this, seeing this though. Last week we heard about the story about the Karens, um, getting people kicked out of or off the beach that were practicing their music, um, which is a net, which is a tradition in Mexico. They practice their music wherever at all hours of the day. And it seems to be a tradition in just about every indigenous place where these people, Americans will 
um, again, I'm American, okay? So I, I'm, I can tell you. They will, it's the same thing as gentrification um, or along the same lines. They will save up money, um, and which will take them forever to save up their money, just to go to somebody else's home and start complaining, causing issues with them. The way, let me tell you something. The way Karen's at, y'all are going to be banned from every country. Literally outside of America, y'all gonna end up banned from every country because it's getting to the point. It's going. What's going to happen is, is I understand y'all pay y'all money, right? Money talks. However, the locals there, they're not the same locals as American. Do you understand what I'm saying? In America, we got a little just a te just a teeny bit of restraint. I'm not sure if the same energy that y'all be giving um, to the locals in their home. I don't, baby, I don't think that it's going to go the way you think it's going to go. Because sooner or later, they're going to start to get tired of your BS. And y'all just going to start turning up missing. Y'all just going to start turning up missing. Okay? Now, for those of y'all that did not see what happened to, you know, that situation with the black girl and her friends. Or her friends that went to Mexico. And how that whole situation went down um, after they jumped her in Mexico. And she ended up succumbing to her injuries um, from a, bro a broken neck and several other injuries. The investigation, the way things went down, um, yeah, I'm not sure if. Listen, if you get into if you get into something outside of American territory, and you you come up missing, and we all know those of us that are. We know what coming up missing means. It means, baby, you will never be found again. If you get into it, baby, you better hope and pray that that caring behavior can get you home, can keep you alive, and that it can keep you safe. Because when I tell you these are not the kind, these are not the same people. And that behavior is only going to fly. But so far, y'all better wheel it in. Okay? Because if y'all try, listen. Try that in places like in the Caribbean. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh uh. Uh uh. No ma'am. No ma'am. Try to take that to Haiti. No ma'am. Try to take it to Jamaica. No ma'am. No ma'am. Pam. Let me tell you something. No ma'am. No ma'am. Um, it's getting so bad. That literally everybody, all the other countries are now at the point where they're looking at looking at y'all as the issue because y'all literally are the issue. Like you go to other people's places and try to tell them what they can and can't do, and you're not even a citizen. You're a tourist. You're supposed to be respectful of other people's traditions, other people's um, you know, cultures. You're supposed to be respectful. No one else complained about that except for you. Even on the beach, no one else complained except for the Karen that, you know, went down and tried to enforce that they leave the beach. Mind you, that's their home. That's their, their territory. You don't own anything just because you're there on a temporary stay. And even so, it's someone else's home that they're graciously allowing you for a price to come and visit and enjoy as well. Now, that can also be rescinded at any point in time because, let me tell you something, if enough of y'all start going to these countries and start turning up missing, at a certain point, they're going to start banning y'all from coming to these countries. So, I suggest y'all reel in that entitled uh, Karen racist attitude and pack it into your back pocket because, beloved, I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. But, baby, if you don't want to understand right now, there will come a time where you will have no other choice but to understand. But for your sake, I just hope and pray that it's not too late. The private event, there is extra space over here Unos for you. I keep seeing these videos of um, Americans in Mexico or Puerto Rico demanding these changes be made for them. And it's like, I'm shocked, but not shocked. And it's like, I'm not shocked because I live in America and I know these people exist because they do that stuff here too. Um, but I'm shocked because I live two hours from the Mexican border. And so I've spent a lot of time in Mexico. And it is just the most welcoming country if you respect their culture. And I can't believe that people would go to a country and demand that people change their own culture in that country to accommodate them. That guy in that video um, that I'm stitching, he equates it to like you're a guest. And that's true. Like you wouldn't go into somebody's home uninvited 
and then demand that they change things to make you comfortable. It's like, no, you go into somebody's home uninvited, and if the vibe is off, you just don't do that again. So it's just, it blows my mind. Like, Mexico is an amazing country if you respect it. And I can't, I, I'm sure other countries are the same. Like, just respect their culture, and they'll love to have you. Like, it just, it's mind-blowing. No matter where y'all go, y'all just can't give people peace, huh? Y'all just can't give people peace. You think you fucking own everywhere. You non-melanated mo- Please leave. Please leave. I mean, bruh, bruh, I feel you on that. But shit, at the end of the day, America is not even a country, my, my G. Like, they over the, they, 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 they motherland is over there in, in Great Britain, man. And if, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you know your history, but, you know, this not their land. This is not even their country. They stole this country from the, from the Native Americans, which is the Native Indians. Right, of course. We can talk in my office. So, you know, for her to be doing that in your country, in the Mexico country, bruh, she lucky I wasn't there. Cause I would have, I would have, I would have shut that, shut that ass down, bruh. Like, that ass. Like, who is you that's trying to tell somebody what to do and you don't even live there? Stop. You're a fucking tourist. I gotta stop leaving my thing. Yeah. Hey, don't mind. So this is all I got from this. And I think it's really time people start respecting other people. Just because you were American does not mean that the world really, you have to put the world to a stop for every other person to drink for you. I really love the girl. I love the fact that she stood on business and that it's some period. When you do not have respect for locals, trust me. Now, this, I don't really do not understand this. Just from what happened in St. Lucia, why are they going everywhere and they're trying to make the people that own the place look like, uh, you know, they are, there. I mean, this is not your place. I mean, you are just a visitor, you know? Just like when I travel to other places, trust me, I am at my best behavior because, man, why do I have to make you uncomfortable? I won't have to make you uncomfortable because I want to be comfortable. It's either I do not want to be there or I want to be there, you know? If something is not going well for me at a particular point in time, the best you can do is just leave, look for somewhere else to stay and the rest of it. But trying to make the people that on the black, you know, it's just a public place. And you want to make it a brand. You are like trying to chase the little girl away. I mean, do you really feel good? I mean, some people, we can do better, you know. Some people really do not even, how can you even go to some, it's just like somebody coming to your house, right? And trying to chase you away from your house. I mean, <laughs> somebody visited you and the person's, F word and everything is just to chase you away so she can stay but like she can, so she can be comfortable you know I mean it sucks it's really not good it's not a good behavior and people should learn to respect other people's culture I mean it doesn't matter whether child or something or anybody just be respectful this is not your place you are only visiting and you shouldn't make them feel type of way you know because you're a tourist or because like you know you think that you are the mommy general you know it's all your world it's uh, you you have to say or it's like you know you i don't know what they think why doing that well man we can do better as human beings you know because when i see you as a human being there are some things i wouldn't want to do to you so first of all, we should think like human beings and every other thing will follow in suit. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.